Alright everyone, hello and welcome to the Good Morning Sabin Challenge. Uh, this is the second challenge in the series, and this one's mostly about multitasking here. Uh, if, you, if you're if you just thinking about doing the task one at a time, like, okay, uh, I did this task, now how do I do the next one? Yeah, the time isn't going to be very good. So you kind of got to do as many things that, that'll benefit your time at the same time. Uh, and we have... The contestants in this one are Tanker Rider in the top right, Cecil in the top left, Jackamus in the bottom left, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Edrin in the bottom right. So anyway, without further ado, go! Alright, so everyone's pretty much neck and neck at this point, which I suppose is only to be expected considering we're only five seconds in. <laughs> uh, the two people at the top sell some stuff at this shop, whereas the two people on the bottom don't sell stuff at this shop, which is why the two people on the bottom, Edrin and uh, Jackmus, get out of here a little quicker, but they'll just lose the time at a shop later, so it's still pretty much even at this point. But you can tell both groups are uh, neck and neck <laughs> with their respective uh, doppelganger until Jackmus makes a slight misstep, but. It's okay. Note that Jackamus sells an extra antidote here compared to everyone else. That's because he's buying 10 revivifies. Uh, one thing uh, that perhaps people didn't notice in the rules was that I said that you had to use the drinkable items. You didn't have to use them on yourself. So Jackamus is making use of that by using the revivifies on the enemies instead. Uh, revivifies are good because not only do they seem to have a slightly faster animation time, which probably saves like, I don't know, maybe three seconds. Uh, you can also get points towards your item count and kill the enemies with them at the same time. Cecil also realized that you could u probably use items on many enemies and he even asked me about it, but he didn't think about the revivifies. He only tried potions and realized that they were pretty slow anyway, so he eventually discarded the idea. So Jackamus is already in the cave, already burning through some undead. Tanker Rider instead goes to the Velt first, unlike what everyone else did, and he goes for this uh, enemy formation which he's able to destroy with Stray. It uh, on Confused the Pipsqueaks use Quarter, which is really nifty to take out this encounter as fast as possible. Jackamus gets finishes off a, a double upright encounter for just enough EXP to top off what Sabin will need after this Ing encounter if he survives alone. One thing nobody noticed was that uh, you can actually escape with uh, Setzer and Terra after Sabin uses the last item. And so Sabin will use the last Revivify while the other characters are running, and Sabin will actually be able to escape from the encounter in that. I mean, everyone except Sabin will be able to escape from the encounter in that time, so it saves the time killing and reviving Terra and Setzer. Cecil, uh, as you may have noticed, didn't... He instead opted for a four-person party instead of uh, using the th just the three mandatory characters for this challenge. One thing that's kind of funny about this challenge is just seeing people do random things like go off and sleep like sleepers. It's just like... If somebody watched this out of context, they probably have no idea what's going on here. As you can see, Edrin Sabin almost dies, but just manages to scrape a win. But of course, that was mostly planned. Tank is now in the cave, killing some Ings. Unfortunately, with a four-person party, Cecil's EXP gain is... Uh, relatively low per battle. Jackamus has made it out of the Cave of Death already, so he's on to the meat of the challenge, I suppose. Yeah, he, he gets off the suplex, and one the good thing to multitask is, while Sabin's suplexing things, the two other characters have nothing to do, so it's a great time to spam the potions. It's not something I actually thought out before I, when I was making the challenge, but it's a pattern, and it's a really good pattern to use, so. Same thing when Setzer's using Guild Toss. The other characters can make best use of their time. 
Edrin uh, goes off to the desert to go kill some chumps. These schmucks will die to the suplex pretty quickly, so... And again, using the potions during the suplex time. Jack and Miss encountered this, these guys in the felt, and they're mostly just time wasters because they don't help with the challenge in any way. But Giltas also happens to be an effective chump killer, so... <laughs> Which is funny because it's something that almost never seems to get used in an actual game for any reason, but it came in handy here. Jackmas ends up with some more chumps. Tenka Rider uh, and goes up to the forest uh, here. So as you can see, Edrin, Tenka, and Jackmas all took completely different paths here. Cecil's still in the cave, but this allows him to get the cat really quickly while finishing off his potion count with seven. And Jackmas hits this encounter, which is really swell because it it has the machine and the soldiers. Unlike every other person, I think, the machine and soldiers end up being different people, but I... I don't know, wait. I'm making nonsense up here. Alright, hard to analyze four runs at once. That's my, my commentary last time was messed up too. Terra gets revived by Tenka. Meanwhile, Jackmas has now completed his run, so congrats, Jackmas. You are the winner. And... Giltas and Edrin's just on the verge of winning as well. And so's Tenka, because this is the battle, the last battle he needs. But he hasn't thrown all his potions yet. So, he's got to wait for that to be complete before he can finish them off. So, will Tenka or Edrin get it? And it's Edrin. And with that guilt toss, that's just enough. Tank has still got one more potion, and then he's got to suplex this bird. This is actually a pretty decent encounter to suplex, because it dies in one hit. The uh, sand rays went down in two, but I'm not sure how much it matters because Edrin was throwing potions during that time anyway. So I don't think any time was really lost there. And now Tenka is complete as well. So Cecil is last but not least. He's still in the cave grinding out some EXP for Sabin. And grinding out EXP for one character, it really, really saves time to do have him alone. But at the same time, uh, he's also getting a lot of the encounters that give less EXP. I don't think any of the Ings showed up, but my memory may be faulting me there. And I haven't been keeping track of him this entire time. And the Ings give significantly more EXP, I think, than these guys do. Though the d double Lich, double Aphrite battle is pretty good as well. So one thing I suppose that could have been controversial about this one was the Velt, because... Kind of luck-reliant, but I figured for a softcore player, probably wouldn't take that many tries to... Uh, get it within a decent, get a, all your battles in within a decent amount of time. And for a hardcore player, they might want to manipulate the fights. Also, notice that Jackmas was the one who won, and uh, he or she, and I think it's a he because it's a YouTube can channel, definitely named Jack and not Jackie or something. But uh, he ended up getting the most amount of trash felt encounters, but was still the winner, so... I don't think it turned out too badly. In that regard, at least. I also liked it that uh, Edrin and Tenko were so close together, because it's always cool when people are very, very close, and it's hard to tell who's gonna win till the last second. Especially when they use different routes. Completely. That was. They submitted before uh, Jackmas as well, so I was thinking, wow, this might be the showdown for first place, but it ended up not being it. Cecil has now completed his uh, sealed gate stuff. And yes, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Cecil, but I'll never do that. <laughs> 
Uh, so, Lobo and Marshalls. I mean, Lobos and Marshall. Gotta get my plurals right here. Uh, this provides his guard. He's already thrown all his potions during that stint in the cave, so there's no need to throw any now. And that's that for that guy. He gets another potion. Oh boy, gonna need that. Cecil chooses this moment to go with the suplexing here. Three enemies to suplex in this battle, so... Just got... Thankfully, Sabin didn't get numbed. That could have been even more of a disaster. Thankfully, they really seem to hate Terra, so... I wonder if these aeronades go to insane difficulty at all. <laughs> well, if they did, then they're not going there anymore. They've been suplexed in the next week now. And now we have... Is this the last encounter? I don't believe so. The Rhino Tar was also a candidate for gill tossing, by the way. But nobody ended up using that one. Edrin did ask about it, though. But apparently never decided to put it into practice. And there's the machine that Med